All right, today we're going to do a video over a prophylactic tape job to prevent inversion of the ankle. Uh, starting off on the right foot here, uh, you want to make sure that the athlete has their um, ankle dorsiflex a little bit. And then since we're working on the right angle, you want to roll in your right hand. So first off, you want to apply the pre-wrap around the midfoot and then hold up, mess that up. So apply it around the midfoot. You want to want to kind of fold over that dog ear and then you're going to want to wrap back around and lock that in. And then you want to go up and do a figure eight around the ankle. And then after that, you want to do go around the lateral side of the heel to do a heel lock. Come back around, hit the medial side and then one more figure eight. And then after that, you want to go up the leg and you want to hit um, right about at the muscular tendinous junction. And then that's where we'll go. Um, that will depend on the kind of how the person's calf is. Some people will have a lower muscular tendinous junction. Some people have a higher one. After that, we're going to grab our tape. Um, we're gonna start off with some anchors. And you want to pull medial to laterally since we are trying to prevent inversion. So everything will be, most everything will be pulled medial to laterally. You want to put on about two or three of these. I'm going to put on three. And then as you, you'll see this not only as I do the anchors here, but also as I do the closures later on. You kind of want to start off with uh, kind of creating a V. And then later on, once we get into our horseshoes around the ankle, the V will kind of turn around. Kind of want an arrow pointing up the front of the shin. Um, and we're also going to do an anchor around the midfoot. All right. Come on. There we go. Kind of got a wrinkle there. There we go. All right. After that, we're going to go into our stirrups. We're going to apply three stirrups, starting at the top of the anchor. You kind of want to mold these in as you go. Um, and again, pulling medial to lateral. And there I have a reverse tear. Um, and if you watched my last video on tape tearing technique, you can learn how to um, tear the tape different ways, including the reverse technique. Lay that on there. And again, you kind of want to make sure that you're um, molding as you go. That one's, that one's not a very good one. And again, you want to apply three of these. And then um, after that, you want to lock these in. So we're going to go uh, four to five circular strips. Again, keeping kind of that arrow going up the front of the shin. There's three. Notice how the angle changes as we get around the angle. So the arrow kind of starts to point towards me now. And then this is especially for the, the horseshoes, because now once you do the four to five Circular ships, we're going to go into our horseshoes. And again, it's more comfortable for me to do the reverse tearing technique here. Smoothing that out as I go. And then after that, we're going to go into a figure eight. And you want the figure eight to run along the, the angle of the first and fifth metatarsal. So you want to be able to kind of uh, go down, come around and back up. And then if you hit that angle, it should come back around and meet itself like that. All right, after that, we want to go into our heel locks. So I'm not doing 
continuous hillock I'm going to do um, two medial hillocks and then two lateral hillocks are separate we're going to start off here medially so that we can get the medial side first and this can kind of be a tough angle to hit so and it varies from person to person we're going to come down a spiral around the medial side come back up and then you could kind of finish just below where you started and now we're going to start with the other one we're going to hit yeah do not hit that angle at all up around the lateral side back up and over and then we're just going to repeat that process again kind of miss that angle i'm going to go back over that one Heel locks are very tough to hit, but it takes practice. All right, and then one more. All right, and after that, we're going to do some Closer strips. Again. Don't forget to kind of have it again, have the arrow going down the leg. We'll close all this off. Making sure I hit all the angles. The better your angles are, the less wrinkles you'll have. And just like last time, close the strips going into horseshoes. Oh, there's something coming back. There we go. And after that, we're going to throw on one more figure eight. Again, want to hit that angle and kind of going down, and up like that. Back around, up and over, back to itself, and then. You want to make sure that if you have any kind of ragged edges up here, like I do, kind of want to close that off. Um, make sure you don't have any loose ends, so like right here. Close that off. And then kind of have a hole on the on the bottom of the foot here. So I'm going to cover that up as well. Lay that on there and then mold. And then as the athlete kind of walks around on it, um, if their foot kind of spreads out when they put pressure on it, they may feel pressure here. So you may want to like kind of, kind of nip this corner a little bit to give them more uh, room. Um, or if they're, you know, make sure it's not too tight on the back of the Achilles or anything like that. Um, other than that, that is the prophylactic tape job to prevent inversion of the ankle.